There are 12 rashes starting from Aries to Pisces. We all know the 12 rashes. What? You don't know 12 rashes? Don't worry about that. I'll put the list of the names of 12 rashes. Even I was ignorant one day. But now I know the 12 rashes. There are 12 rashes starting from Aries, Taurus, Gemini, Cancer, Leo, Virgo, and Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces. Welcome to Pramanic Astrology channel. Today we are going to start a brand new series on understanding Rashis in Vedic Astrology. Rashi is one of the important elements along with houses and planets in the fundamentals of Vedic Astrology. In order to understand the Rashi, first we have to look at the sky. The sky is divided into the 12 compartments called houses. And we have also seen the relationship of house and the Rashis. The 12 houses are the sky. And the space, the literal space it has, is the Rashi. The literal meaning of Rashi is piling up. The quantity, the pouring is Rashi. Here's one interesting thing about the Rashi. Rashis are not divine consciousness. Rashis are very much um, earthly phenomena. Not earthly as in literally earthly. But if you look at the symbolism of Earth, if so, excuse me, if you look at the symbolism of the Rashis, like the ox, the pear, the Cancer, the Scorpio, the fish, all these are the things which we see all around us, are the things which we see around us. Okay, that's why I call it earthly. And planets are divine. Nakshatra and planets have the deities. Rashis don't have the deities. Rashis are not worshipped anywhere. Yet they hold the significance in Vedic astrology. For this we need to look at the sky. Rashi is an environment. The planet is always revolving in the ecliptic and when it comes into certain compartment called Rashis it behaves in a certain way it may be favorable for its natural signification or it may not be favorable for its natural signification what do I mean by that if I am a spiritual guy and if I am put into the discotheque I won't be comfortable right because the environment is not supporting my objectives but if I, if a spiritual guy is put into the temple he'll be more than happy he'll be at its best because now his purpose and objectives are served because of the environment so the planet is revolving and, it, and when it comes to certain rashis it gives certain, it means certain things, okay? So Rashi gives the environment to the planet, okay? So the next question is, why there are only 12 Rashis? Because it is dependent on the movement of the sun and moon. All the revolving objects in the solar system the seven planets are revolving on the orbit of the Sun maybe few degrees up and down but they are revolving in the same path of the Sun okay we are talking about why there are only 12 rushes think about it like a clock Sun is a shorthand of the uh, clock and moon is the mm, long hand of the clock so to complete to come from 12 to 1 the long hand has to complete all the 12 signs in fact the clock has also been derived from the sun and moon okay 
that's why there are only 12 rashis we're talking about the sky and the rashis rashis are the space rashi is the environment which allows planet to function at its natural signification at its best or does not allow oh, the planet to work at its best we call it debilitation and uh, exaltations or the mool trigon rashis the own rashis rashi are not specific rashi the word rashi itself means a quantity a quantum the pouring the piled up things okay so if you if you see a planet in certain rashi don't don't take it as it is if you see a saturn in exalted libra don't take it as it is why because it has many folds to it in that 30 degrees compartment there are the nakshatras there are the constellations there may be some other planet with this we call it conjunctions the nakshatras the degrees but we all we see is on a paper or a computer screen but all this is happening real time up there in the sky so each rashi has a ruler and each rashi has an element and each rashi has a mode of action whether it's cardinal whether it's fixed or whether it's movable okay and what are the elements the fire element the air element the water element and the earth element so what is controversial about rashi in vedic astrology in ancient texts there is no mention of the rashis okay scholars say they might have indians or hindi astrology might have adopted it from the greek astrology okay because in surya siddhanta they don't mention any mm, reference to the rashis this is the point one and the second point is the sidereal versus the tropical zodiac in fact the tropical versus the uh, sidereal versus the tropical zodiac we have discussed this at length in other video if you have not watched this that video i will put a link into the description section and a card this determines the ayanamsha ayan means movement amsha means portion the movement of portion is determined from this ayanamsha okay let's get quick sidereal is based on the constellations as a reference point and tropic is on the basis of the uh, northern equinox this was rashi's as much as i could hold grasp and share with you guys if you are new to my channel please consider subscribing you will be getting vedic astrological videos just like this one and if you don't know your rashis and the planetary alignments go check out my website for your reports keep watching pramanic astrology channel hit that like button and 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 see you in the next videos love and peace